and Crafts online video, Frida Kahlo, action. Hi artists and crafts families, today's artist is Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo was a female Mexican painter. She is celebrated by her country and really the world as an icon of Mexican national tradition. This is seen through her bright colors, dramatic symbolism, and primitive style. Feminists celebrate her work for its uncompromising depiction of the female experience and form. She began painting when she was recovering from an accident and used art to help her get through the pain. In class, I turn all of our students' pictures into coloring book pages for this lesson so they can make their own self-portrait. If you'd like a photo of your child turned into a coloring book page so that they can make their very own self-portrait, we've added that option to our website. For today's project, we're embracing the feminist side of Frida and creating a gift for the moms in our lives. This could be your mom, a grandma, or a friend that you'd like to celebrate on Mother's Day. One of the reasons I absolutely love this crafty gift is the same reason I love being referred to it as Georgia's mom or Conroy's mom. Before I had kids, I would think, that's so unfair, that woman has a name, now she's just being called Johnny's mom? Then I had my baby. They put her on my chest and life has never been the same. Now, when one of Conroy's friends sees me and yells, hey, there's Conroy's mom, I'm so proud. Being a parent is one of the biggest jobs we could take on. We figure you could look at it two ways, a challenge or a gift. We're choosing to look at it as a gift because of all the amazing positive things that come with loving these kiddos. Okay, maybe it's more like a gift with challenges, but you get my point. There's a sense of pride that comes along with being Georgia and Conroy's mom. It's almost like being referred to as the CEO of a successful company. What better way to show your pride than to wear a homemade gift to Sunday brunch? Today we'll help your child make a gift that has the love of kid art and the look of high fashion, all inspired by Frida Kahlo. To make this necklace, you'll need a couple pipe cleaners. Check. Paintbrush. Check. Scissors. Check. Dry macaroni with a hole. Check such as rigatoni or ziti. Just keep going. Anything that has a hole that you can thread the pipe cleaner through later. That's what we're gonna be doing. Egg carton. Check. Tissue paper. Check. Paint. Check. We decided to use orange, red, and pink because we like how the colors look together and it reminds us of Frida Kahlo and Mexican culture. And we thought it would make a great necklace. A good idea would be to ask your mom what her favorite color is since that's who you're making the gift for. My favorite color is yellow. To prep this project, cut your egg carton into cups. Each one will be an individual flower. I also kind of trim the top a little bit just to make it look a little bit nicer, but I don't mind that it, it like goes up and down like that. You'll also have to poke a hole in each side so that it lays correctly on your necklace. All right, step one is painting. Your kiddo will paint both the egg carton cups and the macaroni. We suggest putting it on a paper plate just to kind of keep it all contained. I cut a couple of our rigatoni in half. I just used a knife and a cutting board. So for the necklace I'm wearing, I used six pieces of big rigatoni and then two half rigatonis separating the three flowers just because I wanted them to be closer together. But we say let your kids paint as much macaroni as they like because this is the fun part. And if they paint a lot, you could also make a couple necklaces. Show me a grandma who wouldn't rock this with pride at bingo night. Or in my mom's case, Friday night lap dancing. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take some paint and some of the macaroni. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just paint it. Exactly. This can get a little messy, so you make sure you have wipes standing paint. by. If you want to try putting on the tongs of the fork just so you don't get as messy, it's definitely an option. We suggest using a plastic fork. Add shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Paint down. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe the trick is to paint down, not up. I like the idea of doing each one a different color. Like one red, one pink, one orange. But it's also fun when you kind of like get all the colors mixed together too. 
Ooh. That's a good method, Georgia. Like dipping it in, I like that. So this project's definitely a two-step project. The first step, as we already said, is painting. And then the second step is stringing it on the necklace, but you have to wait for it to dry. So this would be a good project to do a little bit pre-nap and then a little bit post-nap. Um, don't forget to get the inside of the egg carton as well. Don't forget to let your kids mix it. So I'll be recording. How about you tell everybody why I'm like such a great mom? Um, because you journal with me and we play my games. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so now you have to let it dry. Since we have it on a little paper plate, you can just put it aside, clean up your space, put your kid down for a nap, um, and then come back to it when it's all dry and they wake up happy and ready to craft again. Okay, this next step is for the adults. You'll wanna do this either beforehand or in the middle, just sometime it's like pretty impossible for a two-year-old to do, so this part's up to you guys. Um, but it really adds that extra element to the craft to make it look extra special. You're going to make the petals of the flower. So you're gonna take your tissue paper and layer it together. Georgia, I have four layers of each color and I have three colors. How many total pieces of tissue paper do I have? Twelve? Yes, 12. Nice. Layer 12 pieces of tissue paper in corresponding colors to your paint. Then cut them into a circle about two inches in diameter. Now, make two holes in the middle of your circle. It will kind of look like a button. You will thread a small piece of pipe cleaner through the first hole and then back through the second hole. Then twist. Now, carefully pull up each layer, making it fluffy. This is the hardest part because you really want to be delicate with your tissue paper or it will rip. But it's worth it in the end because it looks so pretty. You'll do that as many times as you have egg cartons. So if you want three flowers on your necklace, you gotta do it three times. If you want one flower on your necklace, one time. If you want a whole necklace of flowers, got your work cut out for you. And this might be fun to do at night while you're like binge watching some Netflix show. Beautiful. Okay, we have our three flowers ready. Once everything is dry, it's assembly time. So to put it together, you just kind of twist them so that it's almost like one. Mm -hmm. Now let your child string everything on. This part is really fun. If you don't have pipe cleaners at home, you can use string for this, but the reason we like pipe cleaners is it's just a little easier for their little hands to hold. No. Pasta overboard. Pasta overboard. That's a good idea. You could kink one side so it doesn't completely fall off. Sometimes when you paint the egg carton, the paint closes up the hole. So let me just take that out. Just go like this again. Kind of make the, remake the hole. That way it'll be a little bit easier. And if you want, you could always start in the middle and then add some to each side since we didn't like really close off either side. All right, so before I show you how to put the flowers inside, let's just close this off so that it doesn't fall off. To make the clasp, you see here? The clasp is like the part of your necklace, how you open and shut it. So you're gonna make a circle just by bending it around and then twisting it on one side. So one side will have a little circle and the other side will make a hook. And then when you put it together, you just hook it like that. Ta-da! And if you want it to be extra secure when you hook it, you can pull it a little more and twist it. To take this necklace up a notch and really make it Frida, we need to add in our tissue paper flowers. So here they are from before and they have a cute little stem on them. Okay, so you just make a little hook with the pipe cleaner stem, and then you're gonna hook it around the pipe cleaner that's inside the necklace, and pinch it. Then fluff. Make a little hook, and then fish it around. See it in there? Hook it, and then just kind of pinch it, and then like smoosh it in, then fluff. But if you don't want it to be a necklace, you can also put it on top of your head. That's like really making it a free to gift. Yeah. I like it. Because she wears her flowers on top of her head. I think the real question is, how bold is your mom? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put on, put it in the back. Beautiful. Twinsies! You could even make one for yourself and your mom, and then you could wear them together. Wouldn't that be fun? 
We want to wish all the moms out there happy Mother's Day. Especially now. These times are crazy and it's anything but easy. But hey, that's kind of motherhood, right? Regardless, if no one said it yet today, let me say it for them. You are a great mom and you're doing a great job. All the love from our family to yours. And we'd absolutely love to see a picture of your mom wearing the gift you made her. So don't forget to tag us on Instagram at Artists and Crafts or simply send us an email. I'm Jack at lovejack.com. Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! Yippee! Put up your hair and then hook it through. Frida! Uh, Frida Kala.